Hey, hello and welcome to my first reaction video. Previously I was making some hair files compilations on my YouTube channel and you were asking me to make a video about reacting on these hair files and I was not so sure to make that because English is not my mother language so I will give it a try with my first reaction to hair file videos. Before we start with this first video, can I ask you to subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell. Leave a comment down below so I know you want to see more of these reaction videos. The first video we're going to see is from Alco... Alco Louis? Alco Louis? Alco underscore Louis. I don't know. Let's see. Welcome back to my channel and Thank in you. today's video I am talking about how I fried my hair. Yep. Did she just say I fried my hair? Why can't we see your hair? Why, why is it covered? Is it already done or do we have to start it? Yep, my Let's hair see. is colored now so it's okay. Oh it's colored now. Oh this is the end result and we cannot see it yet. We got colored hair, but yeah. So I'm gonna be talking about how I fried my hair and did it. I already, if you saw my last video, my last video. I I'm sorry, I didn't see your last video. Black hair, and so to get to the color I wanted to be, I needed to obviously bleach it. Um, I had oh, she has hair. black hair, or oh, she had black hair, and she wanted to go to bleach it. So we have to take it out all the black I color. Very patchy, like brown, red, orange kind of hair because I did one bleach a week and a half ago, okay, and that was okay. to get rid of the first layer that was the black, and I used the Ion Color Brilliance powder, it's a lightning powder one, it's a conditioning one, if I kind of find a picture, I'll enter a picture here of it. Um, oh, I don't, I don't know this, this bleaching powder, it's powder, but um, how many? Yes, I had to use that a couple times. The first bleach, I only use like a level 10. Okay, level 10. In some countries, they say percentage. So it's like three percentage. And uh, in our country, we said 10 volumes. So I don't think with a level 10, with 10 volumes or 3%, you can get all the black pigments out of your hair. So I'm wondering. So it didn't really do much. That's why it came out as touchy as it did. I did the next bleach. And oh, that bleach, the second one, it's the same powder, but I also added a serum in that's kind of like Olaplex, it was like punky color or something like that. If I can find that one, I don't know that well. one. And then I use 30 volume developer because 40 and 30 volume developer is meant to mix with that kind of stuff to remove color from your hair. And I should have just done that the first time. So, a second bleach is already done. Uh, I believe it's already done because we don't see anything. Do we see any bleaching so activities this on this video? My hair. Yes, if you, are you see it. If you your hair at home, I would recommend doing a better technique than I did. Yes, I was... Yeah, I would recommend it too because... <laughs> because it's so funny. I recommend a better technique. Yes, I recommend it too. So we have to take fine sections to color, to bleach, to cut. And training is like fine sections, fine sections. And all of that, and I was trying to be careful with everything, but the biggest problem I had is the fact that I did not have a brush. So get all the tools that so you no need. So no brush. As well as, if you're gonna bleach your hair, I would recommend to have a professional do it instead of doing Oh, yes, that's right. We had the years of training. It's so important if you wanna bleach it, it's very, very difficult. And you can have a lot of damage in your hair if you don't do it correctly. The end result will be disappointing because you have yellow, orange spots in there. So please go to a professional. And I know it's a lot of money to go to a professional. But if you buy all the products and all the hours and then you have still the disappointment. If you go from black to blonde, it's a work of hours. And uh, for some reasons, if your hair is already damaged, you cannot do it anymore. Because bleaching is the most powerful product in our profession. Because if you do it yourself, you're going to end up like me and fry your hair off. Unless you've actually 
taken some form of classes for it. Well, I'm so gonna... I'm going to wash it off and then I'm going to like tone it. Well, oh, I'm gonna see. see if I need to bleach it. Like I might not bleach, bleach it, it again. again. But I mean like the back and everything like that is good. So this will be it's the just third a bleaching. Spots, like on the top. I really do need it. So I might if anything do some patch um, bleaching work. You can see already right now because the lengths are already blonde, but the lengths, you can see it right now, while the bleaching is on the hair, the lengths are broken. This is done. You can do nothing with this length anymore. It's broken, it's damaged. And you see on the roots, it's still orange. This is now the, the second bleach. Hey guys, so I'm back. You see? Um, overall, this is what it looks like. Yes, my ends are Damage. Uh, no, your ends are not damaged. Your ends are dead. Sorry. So you see on top it's it's orange. It's yellow uh, Because this is the part that previously was not colored. I believe before the black color It was already blonde and you see on the end it the blonde comes up again I did not put any conditioner in my hair. I just washed it out with shampoo I did one just with my old plex shampoo and then I did one with the purple shampoo um, and then that was it. However, it is, I didn't put conditioner in. I do know my hair, my ends are at least damaged. So I'm not gonna do anything else with my ends except for tone everything. Please don't tone it directly on the end. And a conditioner, I, want, I have to say it, a conditioner will do any good. If it's damaged, you have to use a very powerful treatment and a treatment goes inside the hair and repairs it. Uh, a conditioner is not going inside your hair and it's not going to repair your hair. So you don't need a conditioner. You need a very strong treatment. If she's going to use a toner right now, I can tell you right now the ends will color and the regrowth will not color because the ends are dead, are damaged and they are so porous they will absorb every pigment very fast in like two minutes it will have a color and the regrowth will not color at all but what I am gonna do is this little band here okay. that is still orange I am gonna bleach that one more time No! I do want this to be a lighter blonde just like kind of how like my ends are i want this to be like that and i'm worried if i tone it with how it is now and i may be wrong i may be just damaging my hair again and i didn't need to yeah you are my hair you're going right to damage your hair again the third like bleaching hay. so that is good it does feel dry like i can definitely tell it is damaged from the like i can't even fully <laughs> how much am i going through my hair Oh, please, if you want to color your hair, use a brush. She said it before, I don't have a brush, but again, if you, have, if you want to have a nice result, you have to use a brush and fine sections. You have spots that are not colored, you don't have the nice result you want. If you color it like this, big sections, what she's doing now? What is she doing now? This is like me watching five minutes craft. You know this video is five minutes craft? This is, this is a bag. This is a shopping bag. Okay, if you put foils in your hair, the warmth of your, of your body will go inside and the warmer it gets, the blonder it gets. So I see what she's trying to do. She's trying to get the heat of her head Compacting in, in inside the back. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. It's, it's like gee, that has to be the next five minute craft. This has to be so inventive. Um, I washed my hair. Okay, it's already done. It, and as you can see, oh. it still has. Oh my god, look at the damage. Look at the damage. This is a horror movie. Look at the damage. And it has yellow tones. It's still and it orange. Has white tones. So it's kind of a mix. It's a very bad um, bleaching job. Overall, 
does feel all right. I mean, it feels I don't right. Play with it too much while it's wet, so I can prevent damage from it being wet. So we're gonna go in and tone my hair. I've already mixed what I'm using to tone my hair, and I'm actually using um, the Wella color, which is the Perfect Liquid permanent liquid hair toner and it's the color charm t uh t14 so it's like the pale half blonde so it has all like those purple tints and like so now she's going to try to do the the copper and the, the gold pigments she's going to tone it and it's still orange it has three bleachings now no two three so hopefully that'll help kind of even what I have going on here, hopefully. No, and I did mix it with 20 volumes. Again, 20 volumes. If you use a toner, you don't have to use 20. Uh, you use a less volume because toning is just giving a tone. It says, it, the name says itself, you give it a tone. You can correct a tone, uh, but if you use 20, it's again coloring. So again, damaging. 20 volume developer because that's what was recommended who recommended that the store or or, or the packaging and you just had to color the regrow not the ends that are already broken because that will take a lot of pigments I messed up doing this whole bleach of getting rid of the orange I should have given myself some time. I should have waited a day. I did. Waited a day. You had to wait it a long time, and you have to see a professional. Two bleaches in one day, which I should have just waited, but I didn't, like, because I'm impatient and I wanted it done. I bleached it, and part of my hair was fried, but it wasn't all. It's like literally this patch here, and I'll show you. The ends. Um, I haven't actually touched. She says it's it's fried on the front, but it's all around the head. It's all the ends. If you cut it like this, then it's all gone. Then you have a short haircut. No, 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 don't cut it like that. Oh my God. She's taking just pieces and cut it off. It's like, it's like watching a horror movie for a hairdresser. This is not good for my heart. I want to see the end result. How is she cutting her hair? I can't believe it. Why? Fine sections. Fine section. Fine sections. To color, to cut, everything. Fine sections. Oh, 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 oh. Now she's looking like a professional. She's point cutting. So not just straight, she's point cutting. Point cutting is like going with your scissors inside your hair. So it's not a straight line. So, okay, this is like a professional knot, but it's better than just cut it off. So I buy, um, three New color. Guys here. Um, and I did two of these bright semi-permanent um, Intense Shine by Color Brilliant, or I am Color What Brilliant, color is that? And the color Rose. So I got two of these, and then I got one that is the same line, but is Rose Cord. Rose. Because I want this to be rose more gold. of a rose gold tint, so I want to take Rose Cord and Rose and mix the two of those together and hopefully get kind of the color I'm looking for. I don't know how... If you want rose gold on this color, okay, it's already gold, so you have a good start. But again, like I said before, the ends are dead, so they are very damaged. If she's going to color it in one piece, the ends will have a much brighter result than the regrowth. You have two different colors. She has to color first the regrowth, and if the color is okay on the regrowth, then you can just go quickly on the ends and in like one minute two minutes you have to stand it you have to see it uh, just rinse it off very quickly because it's it's like a sponge it's a sponge sponge it's like you say the sponge it's, it's it's absorbing very quickly so first the regrowth then the ends but I'm I'm not sure how she's going to do it I believe she's going to do it in one piece again but this is now the fourth color oh this is pink 
not gonna lie, I am really nervous. I'm, I should be nervous too. This is pink, this is not rose, gold. And like I said, she's coloring it in one piece, regrowth and length. This will not, this is not going to end well. But this is now the fourth of the fifth color. I, I lost track. She has strong, she has strong hair. If you do it on some people's hair, five colors in one day, you end up like me, just bald. Who am I judging? I don't have any hair. <laughs> Alrighty guys, <gasps> so it is the next day. Um, I am currently sitting out in front of Sally's to pick up some more hair dye. More, more hair dye. I cannot believe it, more hair dye. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Yeah, it is rosy gold, but you have two like colors. It's not very blonde. I think that's the best way I can describe it. But it's not what I'm going for. I'm wanting to go for something a little bit more rosy and dusty and then have the gold to it. So, also, you can still see that I have not done my hair treatment like I need to. This is bad. So, look at this. This is the mess of my hair. Let me grab a hairbrush. Like I said, the ends of the hair is damaged and it takes a lot of pigments. And now instead of rose gold, blondish, it's pink. Is pink ugly? No. But it has to be even. Like she has rose gold on the regrowth and pink on the end. I don't think she's happy. And you can see the ends are not moving anymore. It's just straight. So this is my hair. Um, there is barely any movement with it. So that tells you how dead my hair actually is. Yeah, it is. The only thing that's not, like, I would say dead is my bangs because they're actually, like, the healthiest. But, like... Oh, look how... Oh! See how damaged if, oh. my hair is. Like, my hair... It's so damaged, it is so dry. I saw on the internet, on YouTube, a lot of more damaged hair. And this is colored like five times, I believe. And she still has her hair. I saw some videos that if you pull your hair, it's just breaking off. You can have short hair without cutting it. It also, the hair, like this is where, this is what I was talking about when Look at the haircut! Look at the chips on the side! This is where the breakage is at. Yeah, we, we see it where you cut it. Yeah, together. we can see it. Realistically, it's gonna look weird for a minute. I'm just gonna look like yeah, I it's look a weird. haircut. And you know what, that's fine because I have a bad haircut right now. I do like the pink. Let me show you. So, um, it's pink at the ends, like really pink. And then you can kind of see the orangey parts. Like this is kind of what I was looking for for all of my hair. This kind of yeah. rose gold ish pink, but I did get the bubble gum pink down here. Yeah, I explained it's why. That I actually cut off like this. It's and you still see the damaged, this the like, pieces like that you have to here, cut it is just sticking out. I would say that this is definitely. One of my worst hair fells that I've ever had. So learn from my mistakes and yeah. don't do this at home. Listen to her. Listen to her. Learn from her mistakes. And you know what? It's okay. I will be fine. I will live. I will be okay. Of course, of course. It will grow back. It will it will be healed after a few treatments. Of course you will not die. But you have to walk with it for a few weeks, like this. The first mistake that she made was just over-processing the hair. And if she toned it, she had to first do the regrowth and then just one minute the length. So I hope everything will turning fine after a few weeks. This is my first reaction video. I hope it was fine for you. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned about it. This is 
uh, my main goal about this video is that you learn about it, that you learn from other people's mistakes. Maybe I have a mission, maybe I want to prevent people to destroy their hair because it's not funny to walk outside uh, with damaged hair or a color that you don't want. You are beautiful and you want to look beautiful. Everybody has wants to look beautiful and with damaged hair it's not possible. So thank you again for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and for now I'm saying ciao guys!